In this video I'll share the entire contents of my minimalist wardrobe. Every single thing. Seasonal clothes, everyday wear, work wear, active wear, lounge wear, the lot. I also share what I decluttered these past few months. Thank you Organic Basics for sponsoring this video, more about them in a little bit. I keep my clothes in a tiny walk-in wardrobe off my bedroom, a hallway closet and in my basement. For the sake of this video I've taken it all out and will show it to you here on this rack and on my bed. I've never counted my clothes before and I'm not really personally interested in the numbers, but I have had requests where numbers are mentioned so I'll keep a count and share at the end of the video if you're curious. First off, these are the things that I've decluttered and I'm letting go of for various reasons and have collected the past few months in my declutter bin. There are pieces that are too worn for even feeling okay to lounge around in at home. Leggings that have lost all elasticity. T-shirts with holes. Pajama pants with a rip down the back, etc. You get the picture. There are also pieces that simply just don't work for me. It's she cardigan without front closure. Elasticized skirt with pockets, but when you put your phone in said pocket, the skirt slides down. Short sleeve tunic in too thick a material to warrant the short sleeve. Grey tunic where I don't like the neckline. I'm also culling things that I haven't reached for in a while. Never worn skirt that I thought would be perfect but I ended up never wearing. Styles that feel outdated. Pieces where I have a similar thing that I reach for instead. Basically I'm removing the pieces that no longer serve me for one reason or other. Oh, and this one. I really like this sweater, but something happened to it when I washed it last and it got really short and boxy, but I have a plan. I live in Sweden where we have four seasons, so some of the items I have I only wear in the cold of winter, and some in summer, but in this video I'll show it all regardless of season. I think if I lived in a warmer climate I'd probably need about half the amount of clothes or less, since a lot of what I have is to keep warm in fall and winter. So these are the general categories I have when it comes to clothing. I'm including shoes, bags and accessories because after all they finish off an outfit so they're part of the contents of my wardrobe. Everyday wear. Everyday wear are the pieces of clothing that I'll wear to work and leave my home in. My workplace is very relaxed so for me that mostly means jeans, nicer leggings, cashmere wool or cotton sweaters, tunics, shirts, t-shirts. I have different t-shirts for different reasons and seasons. The heavier weight, more structured ones I wear alone as tops in spring and summer. The lighter ones I layer underneath sweaters in the colder seasons. I also wear the more worn out ones as homewear and sleepwear. Like I mentioned in past videos, I wear t-shirts for one reason or other almost every day of the year, which is why I have quite a few. It's not the number that counts, it's the use I get out of them. Then I have a few shirts. I hate ironing so I don't wear them as much, but now that I have a steamer it's less of a chore and in spring and summer I'll be wearing them again. I have a few sweaters and they're all different weights and have varying necklines for varying temperatures. These are my bottoms. Some denim, some loose pants for summer and a couple of nicer leggings. There's one linen dress for hot summer days and a few tunics to wear with leggings. Special occasion. Special occasion is by far my least used category. I'm a real homebody and rarely attend events, parties or even restaurants. If I can't avoid them, I do. 
If I do need to venture out, I have these options, but I tend to just wear all black for my everyday wear and hope to get away with it. There's a long sleeveless dress, a short dress and gold and black vintage jackets from the 60s that belong to my mom. Outerwear Like I said, I live in Sweden and our four seasons require me to have a few options when it comes to outerwear. For the coldest weeks or months I have this puffer coat, it's served me well for over 15 years. This grey wool mix coat I like but I haven't worn in a while. I do have to consider that I haven't really ventured out much during the pandemic, so I'll keep it for next fall and see if I get any use out of it then. If not, it's a candidate for decluttering. Most of the year I wear this car coat. It's got a bit of insulation and what I wear underneath dictates how warm or how cool it can be. I also have this sportier jacket. And now this denim edition from Organic Basics, which will come in so handy this spring. Homeware. Homeware are the items of clothing that I'd rather not be seen in outside my home. I wear them inside my apartment and outside on my enclosed patio. These pieces are usually worn out pieces of everyday wear, like threadbare cashmere sweaters, shabbier t-shirts and leggings that I've seen better days. I'm working on upgrading this category since I spend so much time at home and don't want to look and feel like a total slob for my own personal sanity. This past year I've added linen drawstring pants that are both comfortable and look okay. I've also added this dress for when it's really hot outside. Active wear Active wear is pretty self-explanatory. It's what I wear when I go on my morning walks. The season dictates the sleeve length and weight of the material, and I add more layers as it gets colder. There's an active wear jacket, a sports bra, a couple of performance t-shirts, performance long sleeved shirts, a tank top, shorts, summer leggings and winter leggings. I also have a pair of 20 year old snow pants that I only wear once in a blue moon, but I'll hold on to them because when I need them, I need them. There are also running socks, gloves, a hat and a scarf. Also in this category is swimwear. I currently have a bikini which I want to switch out the top of and also add a one-piece swimsuit to. Sleepwear. For sleepwear I have some pajama bottoms, worn out t-shirts and night shirts for home and some nicer shirts and pajama sets for travel. I also have a zippered robe. Underwear and socks. I'm not going to show you my underwear or socks in detail, but rest assured that I have exactly the styles I need. I keep them in these fabric bins, which makes them easy to keep organized. The underwear lives in my wardrobe and the socks in my hallway closet. Accessories. As for accessories, these are my winter ones. A cashmere scarf, a merino wool poncho for travel, leather mittens, wool gloves and two cashmere hats. For summer I have this bucket hat. Bags. I've shown you my two bags in a previous video. My primary work bag is this leather one. In summer I switched to this tote. I recently added this crossbody bag. I don't love the crossbody bag, but it was the best I could find that would hold an iPhone 8 Plus, wallet, reusable shopping bag, hand sanitizer, sunglasses, etc. Shoes. I don't wear shoes in the house, but I do need arch support, so I wear indoor shoes or slippers in my apartment a lot of the time. I have a pair of flip-flops, a pair of slides and woolly slippers. For summer outdoors, I have a pair of Birkenstocks, Tiva sandals and another pair of flip-flops. I have one pair of white sneakers and one pair of black. These are my nicer shoes. I was about to get rid of the ones with the white soles a while back because the back was fraying and the velcro stopped working, but I did some repairs. Hopefully they'll last me another season. I rarely wear the vintage dress shoes, but it's good to have a nicer option than just sneakers and sandals. For my walks I have these running shoes and in winter I add ice grippers. And lastly my winter boots. 
I've had the blunt stones for well over 10 years, but I'm on the verge of getting rid of them. They look perfectly fine on the outside, but the inside is quite frayed and it makes my socks slide down, which is super annoying. I'm currently trying them with sports socks and if that works out, they'll stay another season. Last year I added the black boots and I've finally broken them in. After everything's back in its spots in the wardrobe and closet, this is what's going in the basement. As I mentioned, Organic Basics is sponsoring this video. Organic Basics is a Copenhagen-based brand making underwear, everyday basics and activewear with more sustainable methods. Sustainability is the core focus of everything they do. They've recently launched a new line of circular denim made with organic and recycled cotton. They use GOTS certified organic cotton and that standard guarantees that no harmful chemicals were used to grow it and that the people that made this are paid living wages and treated fairly. I love this workwear look and denim is such a classic that never goes out of style. I can see myself wearing these pieces together or separate and they're such a great addition to my wardrobe. I did hem the pants quite a bit because I prefer a more cropped look where you can see the ankle but they look pretty cool too in the original length if that's more your look. Oh, also I'm super excited that Organic Basics now have 100% organic cotton tees too. I love the high crew neck on them, my favorite style. I have a discount code for 10% off if you would like to try one of the new denim styles, tees or anything else from Organic Basics. You'll find the links and discount code in the description box below. Thank you Organic Basics! So, what are the numbers? I have 26 pieces of clothing that I will wear in public, 20 pieces that I will wear exclusively at home, 5 jackets and coats, 11 pieces of active wear and swim, and 13 pairs of shoes. My biggest category by far is socks and underwear. The reason being that when I find something that works in that department, I stock up. I'm super picky and have a hard time finding what I like, so when I do, I get multiple so they will last me a while. The problem when I do this though is that they do last me a long while, but then they all fall apart at the same time, and that style has usually been discontinued by then, so I have to start over. This past year I've had to replace a lot of socks in particular. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, it really helps my channel. Also consider subscribing. I'll continue to share all things Scandinavian from my apartment here in Stockholm and beyond. Don't forget the discount code in the description box. Thanks for watching! I'll see you in the next one. Hey, do!